Hello YouTube, I'm here with another video on this one. I'm changing gears a little bit and I'm actually going to show you how I use Pinnacle Studio 18 Ultimate. Uh, it's the it's the version I have, it's, which is the latest version of Pinnacle Studio. It's what I edit all my videos in. Uh, tell you right up front, I'm no genius at it. I'm, I'm basically a basic user. Uh, there's people out there that know far better than, than I do. In fact, if you want some advanced stuff, I would definitely suggest that you go and, and look up a guy uh, who calls himself Pinnacle Studio Pro. I'll try to put a link in the description for his channel. He is um, the best that I have found, and I watch all his videos. So if you want some advanced stuff, please go watch his. Mine's just going to be about my own personal workflow and the way that I use this. So I shot a video earlier this evening. And now I'm just simply going to use that. I'm going to take this from soup to nuts, as they say, from A to Z, and show you what I do from importing on. So to start with, I've got my, my card that I shot from my GoPro in the computer right now. So I'm simply going to go up here, go to File, go down here to Import. This brings up the, uh, the Import dialog, and you can see that uh, on my J here, Right here is the the one that I have. Uh, where I'm where I'm going to put this at is we'll we'll click on this. This will allow us to create a brand new place to put this. So I will make a new folder and uh, let's just call it uh, Monstery Unboxing because that's what it is. And then I'll just hit enter. And then I'll say OK. Over here is where you can put your, your file name of what you want it to be called in that same folder. And uh, I'm just going to call it the, the same. Well, I'll just call it Smart Tree Battery Unboxing. There we go. S spelled right and everything, so good. Right down here, you see the Start Import button. So we'll click that. And then if you look down here, you can see it's it's importing one of one. And it gives the name of it .mp4. So we'll let that import. I'll probably cut this part out and then uh, come right back to it. Okay, now you can see that it's completed. And up here at the top of the screen, I've got my, my video up here. This over here just shows you what that video is, of course. If I wanted to, I could grab this and I could scrub through it. And... Uh, get all the way down to the end of it so, but not what I'm going to do right now you see how down here in this gray light gray part the rest of it is a darker gray this is where it's going to automatically put this and you really do want this in, in the track too because you can put um, annotations and text and you know different things up on this line above it so they'll actually show through so that's why you want it to go here so all I do if I got multiple clips, I'll pick you know whatever I want. Or on, if I just got one, which in this case I do, I right click it like that. This menu comes up. I simply go down to send a timeline, and there it goes. Now we can see how long it is. You can see it's about five minutes and ten seconds. If you look at this line right here, uh, just a hair short of that. Up here, if you want precise, you can see up here it tells you it's five minutes, six seconds, and a quarter of a second. So now what I point out to you here you can see up here this is its rendering line now it likes to render out every piece of video and so I'm gonna let that run all the way to the end and then of course once that finishes then we'll pick this back up and then we'll take it from there okay so here you can see that we're nearing the end of this thing rendering out so when it does this orange line or yellow line uh, that's green when it'll all turn green and it will simply disappear so the video will then be rendered out so that we can watch it in real time and we can make our changes and anything that we want to do for that. So I just want to show you the end. And there it went. You see it went away. That means it's totally rendered out. So now that we're back here at the beginning, we can go up here on our screen. We can hit play. Hello, YouTube. I'm going to try a quick little unboxing here. Something I just got in the mail today. And so that's the beginning of the video right there so this one now this will be a pretty easy one to uh to edit for me it, it'll um because it's so simple it's an unboxing there'll be no music added to it uh 
there'll be no cuts unless I just really mess up, and I don't think I did. But the way I would start this, if you look back here, right, right after my red line, you can see this is where my voice starts. So if I hit play, just listen. Hello, YouTube. So you can see that's my introduction. So if I go right back here, and I hit the little splice tool here, split clip, I can I hit that, and you see this whole thing turns orange. But what I want to do is just click on this, because I want to delete this. So I just hit that. I just simply hit my delete key. That disappears. So now, when I hit play... Hello YouTube, I'm going to try a quick little unboxing. So you can see it starts with me talking right away, but I always have a little pause before I start my videos just to make sure that everything is smoothed out and good. So now I can go through this and I can play in here. Something I just got in the mail today. Hold it up here and you can see it says small tree on it. So this will be a very, very quick unboxing in here. You can see the contents and how it's packed. I pull all of these things up and I go over my guess. Get out of the full screen mode. And this video here, like I said, it's going to be very, very easy. I, I will show you how to add music just so you know how to do that, but I'm, I'm not going to have it truly added to this particular movie because, of course, I'm talking and explaining this unboxing and this material. So. Again, I would just I would play it. Okay. That little paper didn't want to come out, but let's just toss the box to the side. Start with the paperwork, I guess, right quick. Let's see. Dear customer, thanks for purchasing the Small Tree product. So just uh, just thanking you for, for being a customer, buying your stuff. Blank there, so that's good. Here's the uh, about the charger right there. Now, as soon as the weather breaks, I've got a review to do on another piece of equipment that I have. Um, it's actually my tripod. I plan to do a review video on that. And with that, I'll use at least a couple of cameras, so that'll be different angles. I will probably do another one of these type of videos so that you can see how using multiple levels of, of video and um, you know how you have to splice those together and all of that so that way you'll get a, a more in-depth look but I think that this is just a beginner course that's all I'm trying to do here basically if you're not familiar with video editing at all or if you're not at least um, familiar at all with Pinnacle Studio 18 then I just want to show you how this operates so I'll go ahead and uh, just so go. now I'm down to the video I've gone through it and it um, it's it's pretty much just what I thought. So all I had to do is cut that little beginning part that you saw. Now down here at the end, uh, my talking's already ended. So this extra second or two here, I want that gone. So I simply hit split clip. And you can see it always goes with what's in the front of it. So I can simply hit delete. That's gone. And then to make this thing go out nice, you see if you put your, your mouse on here, and you see how you get that little tiny arrow, and then the little arrow up in the very top right corner up there and the little paper folds down if you push down your your left mouse button and drag this a little bit this will give you a fade out and you can see this little orange thing up here like I said it, it renders everything that you do so we'll let that render there that goes pretty quickly I'll pull this back just a hair all the questions and subscriptions and everything else thanks and have a good day so you can see the video and the voice fades out that way. So I think that's a good way to always end these. Now, I'm, I'm not going to do it in this one. I mean, I'll, I'll add it just to show you, but then I'm going to delete it. And that is music that if I wanted to use music in here, I would want it below the video. So you want to click on right here anywhere in this area, and you can see that becomes the light gray. So this is now the active track. You can see this is all the way down. I will click this one just to make sure it does the whole track if I click on this little button right here this is the uh, yeah this is this is this is definitely the one I want this is going to do the uh, the score fitter these are all the songs that come with this you can see that we start off we got we got ambient and you see there's drama and then it's got all these versions now most of the versions sound exactly alike but it, if you want to hear one you can just hit preview <laughs> Again. 
final stop preview and of course you know classic is the same way you can see there's four different things here so if I click on that one that one's got two songs that one's got a lot more so if I just click on that one hit preview and then all these others so just as a demo because again I'm not going to keep this I, if I wanted this for my movie I can simply hit add to movie it puts it down here in, in this track and you can see it goes all the way down to the end. Score fitter, that's the good thing about it, is it will match however long your movie, I mean this movie could be 10 hours long, and it will match it second for second. So if I come back here to the beginning and hit play, it'll probably be rendering. Hello YouTube, I'm going to try a quick little unboxing here, something I just got in the mail. And so that's, that's as simple as it is to add music to it. So again, I'm just, I'm going to delete this. Because I don't want music on this one. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to save this movie. I'm just going to hit file. Save movie as. And then what I will do is I will navigate over to my. Um, let's see what, what did I call I think I called this small tree didn't I. Yeah there's our small tree unboxing right there. So. Yeah, we'll just we'll just call it that. Here we'll take this MP4 out. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that just so I can have it. I'm gonna hit save. So that saves the movie. Uh, but this program by default is really good about if it crashes or anything, which uh, sadly it does crash quite a bit. But it will actually save anything you've done, even if you haven't named it, even if you haven't saved it yourself. It will actually remember it, and when you open it back up, it will ask you if you want to continue. You can simply hit yes or okay. I think it's okay. And then it just pops right up where you left off with every change that you have made. So it's actually really good for that. Okay, so the last thing that I would do is put in my little finishing touch with the text. You can see I've clicked up here on... AV track number one is the light gray. I'm at the very end up here. And I'm going to hit this T, which is for text. So when I click that, you'll see that up here in the upper right hand corner, there'll be a little text box come up. And there's your text there. I always go in here and type. And I can just say, Thanks for watching. And uh, I try to capitalize my the first letter of everything there. And then we can highlight this. I can go down here to the the text here. I like I like this Algerian font here. And then you can go to face and down here in fill. You see that's on white. Those are white letters. I can click that. I can either do a solid or I can do a gradient by clicking on that. And if I use that color, so I could flip this down, it would go from top to bottom and hit apply. And so it kind of darker at the top, lighter down at the bottom of it. I will go for that. So when I'm done with that, I'll just say OK. And then that will come out here to the very, very end, as you can see. Then to finish up the video, just to check this, subscriptions and everything else. Thanks and have a good day. Oh, there is one thing I, I forgot to do, actually. I, I like to add a motion to it to, to make it roll here. So if I go up and hit motions, hit emphasis, then hit this fourth one zero zero roll up if I just click that and then I hit OK it's going to render out again and then as soon as that gets done I'll show you what that looks like questions and subscriptions and everything else thanks and have a good day and you can see it just rolls up the screen and rolls right off and one last thing you can do in the little finishing touch make it a little more professional is pull that in to get an out transition as well and then I'll show you questions and subscriptions and everything else. Thanks and have a good day. Now if you watch this, it kind of starts blacking out before it goes off the screen. So it's just a nice finishing touch. Alright, so with that, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll save this again. So I'll just hit File Save Movie this time since I've already named it. Then, I'm going to go up here, click on my Export button. And then we'll choose File, MPEG-4, Ultra HD 4K. It's already where I want it to go. And I'll just add 
video on the end of that. Hit save and let it begin to export. Once the export finishes, then we'll come back and I'll show you that part and then we'll we'll uh, we'll end this video. That we're just about just about done with this video. It's about rendered out. If you look up here, it's at about 8950 frames at a 9144. It's been quite a while here. It's because this is 4K, these files are so big, it takes quite a while to render these out. But you can see that right now we're down to just a little over 100 frames. And then this will complete. If you do this in 1080, it's a little faster. And of course, if you want smaller than that, like the 720, which I never do, but it would definitely be a lot faster than this. So you can see here, it's, it's running my ending credit here. And then as soon as that goes off the screen, it'll be rendered out. And right here is how that you know it's completed. You can see export completed. Open your, ex file, your exported file in. And of course you can do it in Explorer, Windows Player, QuickTime. So on this, I just close this. And then I simply close this. And I can close this or minimize it, get out of my way, however I want to do it. And now the file is done. I can simply go to uh, YouTube and upload it, which I will do. But that will conclude this tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me a thumbs up, share it, subscribe if you haven't. If you have any questions or anything, just let me know, and I will try to do something a little more in, intense in the endeavor in another week or two as soon as I can get a little break in the weather. Thanks for watching. Bye now.